on the dual carriageway here, you saw the following sign, and I think you thought that the lane you're in, um, which is this one, I think you thought this becomes the exit. So then you moved over to the right hand lane. Um, but this um, sign with the diagonal line pointing to about 10 o'clock that says Plasto Custom House, it is the type of exit that has its own slip road. So a new lane appears, and that's the lane that you'd have to change lanes to the left lane, um, the slip road, and then leave. I think you got it confused with um, the one that I'm going to show you next. So I think you got it confused with um, this kind of um, exit. So here, Romford Beacon Tree Heath is the exit. The, the arrow shows that you're already on the lane to take the exit. And one way you can tell, the background to Romford Beacon Tree Heath, the text here is in white. The background is white. White represents um, single lane roads and green represents dual carriageways. So this is the one I think you got it confused with, with the previous one. We approach the end of this road and after you pass the last parked car on the left, you didn't come back into your lane enough. So the last parked car is this white color car. And after the white color car, there's plenty of time for you to move back into your lane so that you're not touching this middle line. And that will allow the cars to drive into this road. Um, you see what you, you see what you've done? You've just not come back to the left enough here and your right hand car tires are touching the line. Okay, so you've got to come back more and make sure your car is fully inside your lane and not touching the white line that's dividing the two lanes. We came to this mini roundabout and I, I, I think you did it very very well. You used the right hand lane um, and then you, you kind of asked me do I turn before the roundabout or after but then you, I didn't answer and you figured it out straight away. Um, I think you first might have thought you had to go that way, but then you figured out you have to go around the roundabout circle. So here you approach the roundabout and you didn't swing, you, you didn't swing to your left to go around this circle, which is good because there's another lane next to you. So you just kind of went forward and your right hand tires did go over this circle a little bit, which is normal, completely normal. Sometimes there's not enough room for you to completely avoid the circle. You just have to trim over it a little bit with your right hand tires. But the main thing is that you, you don't turn too early and just completely turn before the circle. You make an effort to go around it a little bit. So which is perfect what you've done. That's it, you, you didn't swing to your left wildly getting into the other lane, which is perfect. We came to the end of this road and uh, it, it, the sat nav asked you to turn left, then keep right. So turn left, you have to go left anyway, there's only one way you can go, that sign tells you, but then keep right. So there's three lanes on this dual carriageway. So he wants you to keep right so that you're prepared to be able to turn right. And he will tell you again you when out. to turn right. So as you come out, we're looking for a huge gap from the right. And when you come out, you wanna come out into the right hand lane, if possible, please. That's it, and then the sat-nav will tell you when to turn right, okay? It won't be for about another 600 yards, at about two or three exits later. So this is one exit, and there'll be another exit, and then it's about the third exit where the sat-nav asks you to turn right. At this traffic light, uh, the, the, the light is green, and it's a green arrow, which means that you can go with priority. Um, you kind of stopped in the middle of the, of the, of the traffic light, so we can see the secondary light is there, it's still green at the moment. Um, and then you went to amber, okay? Um, and then the, the, there is a car on your right and, it, and there's a bit of traffic to the right. Um, and you kind of paused there, can you see you paused? And, and the car behind us beeped and after, I'm telling you, you know, continue, continue. Um, you can't wait where you kind of pause there, okay? You have to continue. Okay, so I'm just going to rewind that back so you can just see it again. Okay, this is not a place to wait. Okay, just keep going. So here we turned right and I just want to remind you again, you must be in the dedicated lane for turning right. 
So get into it as early as possible. So the curb is here. So just after the curb, if you move into that lane, then no one else can do it before you. So go into it as early as possible. So you don't have to worry about another car already being in that lane. So go into it as early as possible. Get your car straight so the cars behind you can use the left lane to go ahead. We came to this roundabout and we turned right fourth exit. Um, your signal, once you moved into the roundabout, your signal turned off. Um, so I just, I just prompted you to turn it back on again. So just turn it back on because if you don't have your right signal on, if there's a car waiting to come into the roundabout from that exit, they might see that you've got no in indicator on and they might assume you're going straight and you're actually going to go that way but they might assume that you're going straight and they just pull out in front of you, which you don't want. You don't want that to happen. So if you have a right indicator on, the car that might be joining the roundabout will know that you're not leaving and then they will wait for you. And here you forgot to check your left mirror before leaving the roundabout. So make sure you definitely check your left mirror and then turn left off the roundabout. At this roundabout, I ask you to take the second exit. So the second exit is this one here. Um, and then the, the fault you made or what I didn't like was when you approach the roundabout, you, you move so far to the left that it, it kind of confused me and I think the car that was coming from, from, from there as well. What you should have done, if you hold my finger, you should have kept like this, just slightly to the left of the circle and, and, then, and then continued. But you came here and you went like that. And then I thought you were going to turn left or something. I think the other car might think the same. So if you go that, if you swing that much around the circle, then any other car might get misleaded and think that you're turning left. So you can see how far you've come to the left. So try to be more closer to the circle as you go ahead. Otherwise it will mislead people. Then after that little mini roundabout, you come to the traffic lights here. A lot of people get this wrong. They, they use the right hand lane and then later they find out that the right hand lane turns right only. So your normal driver position, just keep left and follow ahead at this light. Okay, so you can, now you can see on the floor, there's an arrow that says for the right hand lane to turn right. So it forces them to turn right. Okay, then we were driving down this road and I kind of told you what happened after it happened because I, I didn't think you realized um, what was happening. There's a, there's a car here, it's a blue color car. And that car, uh, it kind of shows um, that it's, it's gonna move out. It, it makes a bit of movement. And I think it's got, a, it flashes the indicator or something. Yeah, can you see? Can you see it's just moved a little bit? Um, now, as soon as you see that, alarm bell's got a ring on your head. You need to start slowing down because the car, it might pull out by accident a bit too much. And then if you're accelerating past it, you, you're not going to be able to stop and you, you're going to crash into it if it did pull out more than it, than it should do. Um, so slow down, um, check your right mirror, move away from from that blue car. So just start moving away from it slightly. Your lane is big enough to, for you to still stay in your lane as you go past it and then continue. Um, but you kind of stayed straight, very close to the blue car and picked up a bit of speed. Picked up a bit of speed there. So Okay, so I'm just going to rewind that for you again. Okay, so you see the blue card there it just moves there a little bit okay now now you, you start slowing down and move away from it but you're not you're speeding up and going past it i don't think you realized that yeah that you even moved okay so these little things you gotta pick up on these things okay and i just want to remind you about what we talked about in the lesson these slow signs on the floor they're there um, for a certain reason they're specifically placed in certain places where for example, you have a side road coming up on the left and a car might pull out of there. Um, when you see these signs, just um, try and have a think about why it's there. Um, it's to your discretion what speed you drive at when you see that sign, but it's there for a reason. Something might come out of the side road and force you to slow down. So just be careful and slow down in the first place when you see the, the side road. Um, another thing I wanna um, remind you about is if you have parked cars like these two and you can't see the pavement behind it, 
there could be somebody standing there behind or just walking and approaching the, the road and they're going to get off the, the pavement and cross the road. You have to decide, it's a judgment call, decide what speed to drive at. Um, you must be able to stop if somebody comes and out from behind that blind area behind these parked cars. Okay, so never drive faster than a speed then that then you know you, you could stop if somebody just jumped out from a blind area or walked out comfortably from a blind area you must be able to stop sometimes you drive a bit fast past these blind spots um so just have a think about what speed you want to drive out down a road when you're going straight for a long period and you can't see the pavement at the end of this road i ask you to turn left and then take the first road on your right. Um, after turning left, immediately you should keep to the right near nearer this white line here, okay, so that you can take a right turn. You didn't actually do that. You turned and you kept well to the left. Um, so what you should do is turn and keep to the right. So start driving into the middle lane so that you can go and turn right, but you kind of kept in, in, the, in the left lane and then you had to change lanes to the right hand lane. But just go into it from the moment it opens up, then you won't have to change lanes. Okay, and then here, um, the red light is not for turning right, okay, it's only going straight. You can just turn right when there's no cars coming from ahead that way. Okay, now here, the, the green light is just there to, if someone presses the button, it's just there to let them cross the road. So if it's green, you can cross this solid white line, which is called a stop line. Okay, but straight after that, you have a giveaway here, which I think you missed. So I think you thought it's green, you can go. It means you can only go past this line here. Okay, and then you have something else to deal with. Okay, and now you have a giveaway on the floor. So the giveaway sign is there. The arrow on the floor tells you that you must turn right on this road. Uh, but you must give way to cars coming from, from your left and cars coming from your right is this black car they're waiting in traffic so go to the right we can see the traffic but to the left i'm gonna stop you there and then you ask me where's the giveaway i think you kind of missed it maybe you thought the green light was the the, the controlling factor at this junction so you check to your left and then then you carry on we'll practice again practice this junction again next lesson okay so we've done this roundabout, uh, we were following the sign for East Ham. So East Ham is on the right hand side. Um, it's about at two o'clock. Okay, so it's a traffic light control roundabout. So it's nice and easy. And it says East Ham on the floor. So when you see the sign for East Ham, um, just stay in it. Now you notice here it says East Ham in this lane and in this lane. They both take the exit. So you can use either one. Just get into one of them and just follow the lane out of the roundabout. Okay. Now the mistake you made was when you were leaving the roundabout here, I think you thought you had to use the middle of the road. But can you see this? there's a dividing line here. So there's one lane, two lanes, both lanes go out of the roundabout and they, they merge back together further on where the second black car is here. So you kind of started to move from this lane into the left here where my, my hand is now, but you haven't checked the mirror yet on the left mirror to see who could be there. So I kind of took the steering wheel and I moved you back to the right again. Okay, so just keep in your lane until the road merges further on, okay? Okay, now this is another example of where the road merges back to one lane. So there's, there's quite a few lanes here. So once you pass this traffic light, now the road is merging back to one. Okay, now what you've got to do is check your right mirror because your lane is the arrow showing that it's moving back into the right hand lane. Check your right mirror and if there's a car beside or kind of slightly behind you, just, just have a look at what speed they're driving at. If they're driving quite fast, and they, if it seems like they want to get in front of you, just let them go in front and then you can get in behind them. Okay, so what you don't want to do is just move over because the arrow tells you to move over without checking the mirror. Okay, so when it merges like that, make sure it's safe to merge before you do it. It might be safer if you let the car beside you pass and get in behind them. 
Then at this roundabout, we follow the sign for Dagenham. So Dagenham is first exit to your left. Okay, so this one's not traffic light controlled, so you'd have to give way to cars coming from your right. And then when you take the exit, use the lane that's going to go straight ahead of the light. So I have these two lanes, use the lane that's going to go straight ahead. Then at this roundabout, we went straight ahead, second exit. So again, it's not traffic light control, so we're going to give way to cars coming from your right. Okay, so it's very simple, just carry on. Go past the first exit, then check your left door mirror, which I kind of had to remind you there. So you must check your left door mirror for anything that's trying to go maybe before you. Maybe there's something like a cyclist or a motorbike might be cheeky enough to try and go before you on your left hand side. So check your left door mirror and then give a left signal and then take the exit. Okay, so next roundabout, we were turning right second exit. So I'm just going to forward it forward. Okay, so in the right hand lane, perfect. And then there's a giveaway coming up. Giveaway to cars coming from your right. And then continue around the roundabout. Okay. And then the first exit is to your left that way, and the second exit to your right that way. Um, this is a crossing. I just want to warn you this is because it can get quite busy very quickly. People can just come from behind that building and get onto the zebra crossing within, within two seconds. Same from that side. They can go from behind that wall, they disappear and they're onto the zebra crossing within a couple of seconds. So just be careful of this one. Okay, now here you made a mistake. On the floor, you can see the giveaway marking. It's upside down triangle, two broken white lines. You, you came there and I kind of had to stop you there um, because you didn't stop and check and you should be checking for cars coming from your left. Okay, cars coming from your left. Okay, so we'll have to do this one again, okay, because you kind of got this, this part wrong. After you check to your left, if nothing's coming, just carry on and continue ahead and the roundabout is done. Okay, now this is an example of where I don't feel confident in your driving. Your lane is um, is completely clear ahead. Okay, now this gives you a false sense of, what's the word? False sense of safety, okay? I think you feel as if your lane is clear, yet yeah, you can continue full, full full steam ahead, but you can't. Look, there's a van coming out from your right. Um, now that van might pull out from in between two cars and just come in front of you. Um, there might be somebody crossing the road um, from in between two cars and just come and pull out in front of you. Something's going to surprise you, okay? So you can't you can't pick up a lot of speed here, even though the lane is clear, because you can't see what's happening on the right. This van is causing blind spots behind it. These cars are causing blind spots behind it. You, you don't know what could be coming from your right. And then eventually something did come. Um, so I've kind of told you to keep slow here. And then see this guy? See, he just comes out of a blind area, okay? So have a think about if you can't see to your left or your right pavement, then don't go really fast, okay? It's a judgment call of how fast, of what speed to drive at. Um, you, you must be able to stop whatever happens.